hello to the YouTubes. Anyways, what I was going to ask, what all games are on this? Seven classic Sonic Genesis games, plus six additional Sonic Game Gear titles. I guess that's where the plus comes from. Unlockable games and secrets, redesigned interface, and extra bonus material. Very fancy, man. I mean, it's Sonic. You can't be mad about Sonic, right? Like... Well, unless you're the Dorseman. The Dorseman can be mad about Sonic. Somehow he likes fucking to not Toe Jam and Earl. What the hell was it? The little, the little. God, dude, Worm. Earthworm Jim. Somehow he likes Earthworm Jim more than Sonic. I don't, I don't understand it. Nothing against Earthworm Jim, but dude, the game kind of sucked. <laughs> when I played it, to be fair, when I played it, it was glitched out and it pissed me off. If it weren't for the glitch, I would probably have liked Earthworm Jim a lot more than I ended up liking it, but it made me angry. I still can't believe... Never mind. Old news. Old news. Just a little bit. Took my controller off the desk whenever I was, you know, soldering that game. The battery in that game. Forgot to pick it back up. All right. Into the game, shall we? Press start button. 1991-2004. Sega Corp? Uh, yeah, create a save. That's fine, dude. I do like having a save game for my games. Bo looks really cute right now, but you kind of want a breeder? I mean, you're allowed. Like, if you want to, I don't think anybody will be too upset with you, even though she do be looking cute, though. Options! Do we have anything that we care about? Hints? What kind of hints do we need? Uh, controller config. I'm not assuming there's going to be anything too crazy here. A, B, C. Oh, God. Well, I mean, okay, it's, it's Sonic. We shouldn't need all of the buttons, right? <laughs> I kind of forgot that, uh, honestly, that, that the original Sega controllers, some of them did have six buttons. Growing up, we only ever had the three-button controller that I can remember, and, uh, the Sega that I have now, I'm pretty sure I only have two three-button controllers to go with it. So I have the whole Sega kit, dude. We never really play Sega games, but, like, I have uh, the, the Sega Genesis, of course, and then I have the 32X and the Sega CD add-on. So from the get-go, we have one, two, three, and Knuckles. Uh, as well as 3D Blasts, Spinball, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Labyrinth. Oh, these are the Game Gear ones. Okay. Sonic Drift. Was that like their take at Mario Kart? Sonic Chaos, Sonic Blast, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine again. I think we're going to try Mean Bean Machine just because I have no idea what the hell that is. Oh, this is like, what's that, like Puyo Puyo or something like that? I'm probably thinking of the wrong game, but... Stack and remove the beans. Attack your opponent by creating combos. Left analog stick slash directional buttons. Move. X button, rotate beans. Square and circle, rotate beans. R1, pause menu. R1 is the pause button. That makes a lot of sense. Why not, right? That's... It's a... Why isn't it just start button? Like, there's right here. There's a button for that on the controller. Oh, God. Would I resume? Oh, it doesn't mean pause. It goes to, like, the emulator thing, basically. Okay. Um, I guess scenario mode? Start. Uh-huh. Just breed bow and get it over with, dude. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Beans, beans, let me give you a hand or two. Why why is this a thing? Uh that's probably a terrible place for it. You two can go over there. Does it show us what pieces we're getting next? It does. Yeah, so this is like Tetris for people that hate Tetris. I don't really understand. Oh, that was rude. Uh, green over here. So how how do we give them... Because, like, we're getting bad stuff added to ours. How do we give them bad stuff? Like, those, those colorless pieces that I'm assuming we can't really do anything with. Does it have something to do with, like, combos? 
Okay, I see they're getting one now. Oh, God. Ah, oh, you bastard. Uh, it's all right. We can still make this work. What color is this? Two blue? This is riveting, dude, I know. Dude, he really doesn't want us getting that red, does he? So I'm assuming it's just like first person to run out of pieces loses. Green and blue. I don't have... Oh, shit. I didn't realize there was a blue coming up. I probably should have did that a little differently. Oh, well. It's fine. Also, I just blocked my own red. I'm a professional. <laughs> I, I definitely know what the hell I'm doing. You can go there. Blue and red. Hey, that should finally deal with the red. Uh, purple. Red, I guess. What? How's he giving me all these things? So many of them. What was that? I'm dead, dude. <laughs> okay. Well, I obviously don't know how the hell this game works. I also just realized that the right stick zooms in and out. So that's neat. I didn't actually want to restart the game. I want to go back to like the beginning or like, you know, to pick a game. Maybe, maybe play a game that I understand, like Sonic. Oh, does it have save states too? That's cool. Exit. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind losing my progress. I don't know what's going on. Do we want to do uh, like Sonic 1, 2, 3? Like just going down the list? Or do we want to mix it up a little bit? Oh, God. Does anyone have a preference with that? I am kind of curious what Sonic Labyrinth is. We're going to try Sonic Labyrinth. Actually, I lied. Uh, break, start the game, pause. You know, it's fine. There's only one Game Gear game I ever really played, and it was this weird, uh, roguelike game. I don't remember the name of it, but, like, there was one roguelike game that I actually played. Mix? Mix what? Like, mix it up? Mix up the order? What did I miss? I had to call Nana to find her envelopes to mail something to your life insurance. Bruh. Life insurance. Uh, normal game. Uh, you didn't really miss much. We were playing... I, I don't know what the hell it's called. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine or something like that. <laughs> we tried that out real quick. So wait, is this just a regular Sonic game? Are we... Are we playing pinball? What is going on? We be moving everywhere. Can I, like... <laughs> okay, so killing stuff seems to give us extra time. Oh, I see. Uh, so like how long we hold the X button controls how hard we zoom. I'm assuming hitting this will like bounce us. Let's go. And presumably we don't have enough time. Ow. We lost keys. Do we need those keys for anything? But presumably we don't have just like enough time to just walk to the end. Is this the end? Yeah, gold. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, we have to get all three keys, don't we? Before we... So it is. It's like a, a dungeon crawly sort of thing. Kind of. Not like a normal one, but... Oh, right there. I can I can literally see the key. Can we stop? Give me a key. Let's go. Oh, that was way too hard. We're going to bounce around forever now. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. I think we lose keys if we do. We walk so slow, my guy. That must be like native res. And then zoom. I'm thinking, is it using integer scaling? It must be, right? Because it's not actually filling up the the screen. 450 kilometers an hour was our speed. What? I don't think that's true, dude. Look more like we were walking, what, one mile per hour, maybe? Roughly? Yeah, if each one of these squares is a meter, that's one, two, three. Yeah, about a meter a second, which 
honestly doesn't seem that impressive. I could be wrong. I don't know metric system that well. But it, it doesn't impress me, man. Can we not walk up this? Probably not, huh? That's a no. Okay. Is that time bonus? Time bonus. Also instantly stopped us from zooming. There's a key. Give me a key. Okay, there's one. Other keys down here. I can kind of control myself, I think, while we're while we're zooming. Only kind of, though. Oh, you bastard. I mean, for a mobile game, right, I probably shouldn't be expecting too much. But this isn't really what I was expecting, either. <laughs> okay, there's two keys. What is this? It's a question mark. Very helpful. Where's the last key? Do I need to kill people for it? We gotta go on a murderous rampage? The de-interlacing on this looks like trash. I was just looking at Sonic while he's walking. Look at the interlacing artifacts. I don't know if it's coming through on stream or not. But it's not great. Okay, so you didn't have the key. Maybe you have the key. What? How did that happen? Oh, can we fall off the edge here? Oh! Bouncy pads! There we go. I mean, like I said, for, for a mobile game, honestly, it doesn't seem too bad. It's probably fine. I don't think I'd want to sit here and play much more of it. We're still getting that 450 kilometers an hour speed. And I... I just can't take a game seriously that just lies to our face like that. What is three meters a second in kilometers an hour? <laughs> on this Google? I'm sure Google can tell me this, right? Or not three meters a second. It was one meter a second. Uh, one MS... Or no, one... I guess probably have to type it out. One meter a second to KMH. Yeah, 3.6 kilometer an hour is my estimation here, dude. Not that oppressive, impressive, because what's 3.6 kmh to mph? Uh, oh, not kmh. <laughs> kph. Yeah, that's 2.25. <laughs> that is... That is under normal walking speed. Normal walking speed's like three miles an hour, dude. And Sonic over here walking at, what, 75% of that, 80% 80, 80 of that? And we acting like he's zooming? Mix it up, okay, we'll do one, three, two, knuckles. <laughs> Mix it up for you, Nate. <laughs> I have played a decent bit of Sonic when I was a kid. And I've gotten pretty far in a couple of them before, but I don't think I ever have actually beaten any of them outside of Sonic maybe Mania. Did you guys hear the on audio on that? I think the emulation needs a little bit of work. Not to mention, is it just me or is the audio delayed? I don't remember it being like that on the original game. But like, it's definitely a moment after we're getting a coin. Is the coin sound effect playing? It's always really weird going back to Sonic 1 after playing basically any other Sonic game. Because you can't do the, the crouch and roll for, like, charging up. And that that's always really weird, man. Just because like, you get, like, so used to it, you know? 
Sonic.exe drama returns. Were you here when I was talking about? Yeah, you were here because we we jokingly said that we were gonna trick you into thinking some weird uh whatchamacallit happened. Creepy pasta happened with that Pokemon game. That was the Pokemon game, by the way, the one that I was talking about the other day. Oh, I didn't mean to get to the goal. I didn't know the goal was right there. Well, oh well. Anyways, yeah, no, that was the one that was glitching out and playing all the weird sounds and getting weird characters on the screen and all that shit. It shouldn't do it anymore, though. It should, fingers crossed, be be fixed fixed now. No more, no more issues. I don't remember where any of the power-ups are or anything like that. I see one there. I don't think I can... Yeah, nope, not gonna jump that high. See, this is why the Dorseman hated Sonic 1 when we were playing it. Because he got to, like, a hill like this, and he couldn't figure out how to get up it. And he was stuck on it for a long time. And all you have to do, man, is you just back up a little bit to gain some momentum. And, like, <laughs> it's really... It's not that hard. <laughs> I don't... I don't understand why the Dorseman was struggling so much with, with Sonic, you know? Like, yeah, there's some BS in Sonic, like that there, you know? In a game where you're supposed to run through stuff and play pretty fast, it's kind of shitty to have just instant death pits hidden around all over the place. But, like, bruh, it's not that bad either. Especially to get up the hill. You almost forgot you need to make me a lunch? I mean, you don't have to. I can always just get something at work to eat or whatever. It's not the end of the world if you're too tired or anything, love. You do it before you get your shot? Well, thank you. I appreciate you. Gotta focus, man. Don't wanna, don't wanna fall in the pits again. I just hate instant death pits in general in video games for the most part. I'm also not a huge fan of them in, like, Mario or anything either. I just think they're kind of BS. Why is it I'll get something to get at work and not I can make it after stream? Well, I mean, I guess I could, but I could also just buy myself something to eat. It's like, you know, it's tempting to just do that instead. If it comes down to those are the only two options, cook something or just buy something, I mean, eh. Even though I do generally like to cook, I'm also a very tired boy. There's a checkpoint back there we missed. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, you bastard. See, and then you got stuff like that. That's just rude. Putting that spring there? That was just mean, man. Aw, oh, damn, we almost made it across. I mean, does the transparency... I can't remember what it looked like on the original Sega Genesis, but it doesn't look too bad, the transparency there, I don't think. With Nanagon, you have learned you are a lazy fuck who doesn't want to spend too much time cooking. I enjoy cooking, but like I said, I'm just tired, man. I do way too much stuff, so I have very little time to just relax. And that makes the time that I do have, I, I'm either working on something or I just want to relax. <laughs> like, you know? So it's like, uh, I do enjoy cooking, but my god, dude, I don't know. I don't know. I'm dumb. I should probably pay attention to what I'm doing here. We're gonna get hit. Oh god. Nope, we're fine. We're fine. How long did you put your potatoes in the microwave? Uh, I made two small potatoes, small to medium potatoes. I wrapped them both individually in their own wetted paper towel after washing them off. And then I microwaved them for seven minutes, flipped them, microwaved them for another two, and they were just about perfectly cooked. There was like one or two bites that probably could have been cooked a tiny bit longer, but they weren't bad, honestly. Like, oh damn it. That's what I had for dinner, by the way, because, again, I got home and didn't want to actually cook anything. But I had bought potatoes and stuff for baked potatoes, because I've been wanting baked potatoes. Um, 
Too lazy to actually bake them right now, though, so... <laughs> I just microwave cooked them. It gets you, like, 70% of the way there to a, to a decent baked potato. That's good enough. Wonder if the college has a cooking class? Yeah, honestly, dude, like... I mean, everybody learns differently, of course, and if you're most comfortable learning in a, in a class setting, then go for it. But, uh, like... For me, it was just growing up watching the Food Channel, um, and now that I'm older, watching YouTube, and then of course just cooking. Like that was the biggest thing, just just cooking, <laughs> just just doing it, seeing what works for me, what doesn't work for me, what I like, etc. And yeah, there have been some things, especially when I was younger, that I tried that ended up being horrible. But that's how I, that's how you learn, you know. Nope. Well. Worst part, you grew up watching Rachel Ray and you still don't know. Oh, and Paula Dean too. I was always a big fan of, like, Alton Brown. Oh, son of a bitch. I definitely watched some Rachel Ray, Paula Dean, uh, the Italian lady whose name I can never remember. Uh, Barefoot Contessa. I actually really liked the Barefoot Contessa growing up. Um, but yeah. Oh, you bastards. We're gonna get smooshed. Oh, you're a dick. Okay, we, we Gucci. We good. Barefoot Contessa for you too, right? I actually, like I said, I really liked her. I feel like she wasn't one of the super popular ones on, on Food Network, but I did. I did like her show. The super smiley one, her smile is so big. Did I poke the potatoes? No, I did not. You technically are supposed to when you cook them in the microwave, but I don't care, personally. How to cook raw meat, man. I hope you cook chicken breast, but you could use a refresher. Uh, it depends on how you want it done. Chicken breast is one of the hardest meats to cook, just honestly. Because um, it's the, the temperature that it's nice and juicy and the temperature that it's quote-unquote safe at is basically the same temperature. Or, yeah, basically... The temperature it gets overcooked at and the temperature it's quote unquote safe is basically the same temperature. Um, so that's just a really hard meat to cook. If you don't mind it, I would highly suggest buying some boneless skinless chicken thigh and cooking that instead because you can cook that honestly quite hot and it'll still be delicious. Uh, just a lot easier to cook. And then for meat like steak and whatnot, for steak, as long as it's seared well on the outside, it's almost impossible to have it be too cold on the inside, as long as you don't mind your, your steak pink. Um, I would highly suggest, though, if you're worried about that sort of thing, just get a meat thermometer, dude. Like, that'll, that'll help you a ton while you're learning to get a feel for it. And I've been cooking a fair bit for, you know, the past, like, 20 years, basically. And uh, I still use a meat thermometer just because I'm big on food safety. Oh, that's right. We can't spin. Fuck these guys. Oh, God. I'm scared of a worm. Can I, I should be able to... Right? Yeah, let's go. Okay. That'll give us at least one extra hit before we be done, so. You have diced chicken in the freezer, but Michelle and I got into a fight with you not wanting... Or with you wanting her to help you like with full attention oh well <laughs> damn it we're gonna die nope we're good oh god anyways uh so the diced chicken that's in the freezer is it raw or is it cooked because i feel like usually diced chicken comes cooked right at least the diced chicken that like i'm familiar with usually comes pre-cooked oh it is raw really hmm. In that case, dude, just put, like, a little bit of butter or oil in a pan or something. Heat that up. Throw the chicken down in there. It'd be easier if it was thawed first. But as long as you cook it on a lower temperature, it doesn't necessarily need to be thawed. Um, and then just cook it for chicken. If it's, uh, like, looks like it's cooked all the way through, there's no pink or anything, then you're probably good. Oh, shit, we died. Uh, like I said, it is still a really good idea to get, like, a meat thermometer or whatever, but, like, recommended spices for chicken? I mean, the classic, of course, is just, like, salt, pepper, uh, we suck so bad at this. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, 
onion powder. That's like, you know, your classic spicing for basically any meat. Um, some people really like their chicken. I'm not a fan, but I know some people really like their chicken done with like Italian dressing. Again, not a fan personally, but I know that's a relatively popular thing that people do for whatever reason. Noodle. Uh, but uh, yeah, I normally just keep it basic. Uh, I like spicy food, so I usually put a little bit of, like, cayenne pepper in there as well. Um, if you're into herbs, once it's, like, almost done cooking, you could throw in some fresh herbs. Uh, pretty much any herb will work fine with chicken. If you put it in a quesadilla, uh, the salt pepper, if you, you probably don't have it, but if you have MSG, bruh, always put a little bit of that on there. <laughs> Garlic powder, onion powder, for sure. Um, again, the cayenne pepper would be really good if you like a little bit of spice. And you can, of course, customize how spicy you want it to be. Uh, and then for quesadillas, I don't actually know like what the individual spices are. But you can buy, like, if you want it to have more of like a, a store-bought quesadilla taste or whatever... Um, you can definitely use some store-bought stuff. There, obviously, you could just spice it yourself with the individual spices, but off the top of my head, I don't know what the hell is all in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just, I just don't, to be honest with you. Nana made you put your pressure cooker in the shed? That sucks. Take up space. She wouldn't let me use it much through the pressure co cooker feature built in. Man, look, modern pressure cookers are extremely safe. I use mine all the time, and I've never had a single problem with it. Like, in the number of people that use, like, instant pots and whatnot these days, if they were blowing up left and right, I'm pretty sure you would hear about it, you know? I understand the, the being worried about it, but it's not like pressure cookers of old where you were just taking a sealed metal tube and putting it on a... Uh, on a stove top and hoping for the best <laughs> like they have they have features built in that as long as you keep it clean like there's a pressure release valve on it that will go before the whole thing goes to the moon and that's how i make basically all of my soups and stuff like that is with with the pressure cooker because it just cooks so much faster and especially for like stew meats and stuff like that because meat's expensive. I don't cook a lot of protein these days because meat is just not cheap. So, like, I'll buy stew meat and stuff for my soup because it's it's cheap. And uh, in the pressure cooker, it gets nice and tender super quick. Whereas, you know, with, like, traditional cooking, you would actually have to cook it down for a good while to get it to be nice and tender. That's what it's made for, for, like, a long, slow-cooked stew. We so dead. Oh, nope. We still out here, boys. Let's go. <laughs> what I normally do, Noodle really likes to have recipes to follow. Um, and you can definitely find a lot of really good recipes online. But what I generally do, like I'll look at a recipe or two for something to find like the general method that something is cooked. And then just kind of go from there using my experience just for like, well, I'm not a huge fan of say uh lemon on fish for example so i'll leave that off and maybe use like a uh a little bit of like garlic mayonnaise and dill or something along those lines like make a little sauce and put that on top of it instead or something along those lines you know what i mean so i just suggest going for it dude just cook some stuff and if you don't like it well, just eat it anyways and cook it different next time you know <laughs> like, honestly i don't know that's how i do it Oh. And if you want cheap food, excuse me. Um, if you want cheap food, dude, rice is delicious and super cheap. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, and it's not like terrible for you. It's mostly carbs, which isn't great, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Feed it to the dogs if you can. Right there, you go. There's always that too. You just got to be careful. Make sure you double check that something is safe to feed to the dogs. Because I know there are some spices and things that they're not supposed to eat. I don't think it's as bad for dogs as it is for, like, cats. But there's definitely some. Any more updates on the house situation? 
I'm forgetting something. Sorry. Nate often says, ethic, grab what I think will taste good and start cooking. That's one of the, my favorite reasons to cook soup, right? It's one of the reasons why not only did I grow up with soup. So, like, I just cook a lot of soup because that was a, a staple for me growing up. But also because with soup, dude, you can just take, like, basically whatever you have left. I made soup the other day. It's delicious, by the way. Not the best soup I've ever made, but good. And uh, I had some stew meat in the freezer. That's the, the protein that I had planned on putting in it. But while I was digging that out of the freezer, I saw we had some uh, beef strips because sometimes I like to do stir fries. So I'll buy like beef strips to go with it, right? And uh, they were starting to get a little bit freezer burnt. And I was like, well, I should use these up before they go bad. Um, so I just threw those down in there too. <laughs> like, And then I put like beans, potatoes, cabbage, turnip greens. Um, I'm definitely forgetting something. Carrots. Uh, can't remember. Brain doesn't work. I'm dead. I'm definitely forgetting stuff. But anyways. Oh, tomato juice that I have left over from the tomato juice noodles that I've talked about before making. Just like basically all the leftover stuff. And then just a couple of things that I bought specifically for this. That being... Peppers, a couple of jalapeno peppers, that was it. Uh, the turnip greens and the cabbage. That's the only things I bought specifically for the soup. Everything else was just like either leftovers that I had in the freezer or cans of stuff that I just dumped into the soup. And then I just pressure cooked that baby for a little bit and uh, bowled it up. And now I have like, I ate, a, I ate two bowls. I gave one bowl to Noodle's mother. And I think I have like five more bowls of it in the freezer, ready to go whenever I'm feeling lazy and don't want to cook. Like, it's just, it's it's perfect, man. I love soup. Soup is la shit. Everything's a little burnt. I remember this Sonic game a lot less than I remember Sonic 1 and 2. I definitely did play three growing up. We had one, two, three, and then uh, we had, I don't know, I don't remember if I had it or if my cousin had it, but I remember playing with the Sonic Knuckles cartridge because you could like stick it on the other Sonic games to like change the game a little bit. I don't remember, but anyways, yeah. Sonic 1 I probably remember the best, just because I think I've probably played it the most. Can we not break this? No, we can't. Hmm, okay. Then how do we... Jump, Sonic! Damn it, jump! Okay. Oh, shit, we can... Okay, I didn't think we could reach that. That's my bad. Sauce is a good thing to play around with. You mess up, screw you, lose. <laughs> you mess up, screw you, lose a few cents <laughs> of condiments. You succeed, awesome. You have a new burger or fry or whatever sauce. Yeah, I really like sauces too. Uh, sauces are also just really good on food. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, they can take, like, say you do accidentally overcook your chicken. Super easy to do, man. Your your chicken breast. So then you, you make a good sauce to throw on top of it. And now your chicken's edible. Like, <laughs> instead of just feeling like you're chewing on cardboard, you can chew on cardboard that tastes good. <laughs> I'm not a fan of chicken breast, man. I'm just, I'm really not. Never really been a thing for me. Noodle loves chicken breast. I greatly prefer boneless, skinless chicken thigh. It's a lot easier to cook. I feel like it cooks a lot easier. If you just want, like, something real quick and simple to make, man, you can just take a few frozen, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, throw them in the oven at... I don't remember the temperature, so I'm just going to throw 400 out there for, like, an hour. Um, they're going to be cooked all the way through. They're going to be nice and hot. And when you, you, like, season them up with your salt, garlic, onion, pepper, MSG, all that BS... And then throw them on some rice, maybe a little side of steamed vegetables or something like that. And it's just, mwah. it's delicious, dude. I'm a big fan of mushrooms, too. So, like, fry up some mushrooms to add onto that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh no! Does this mini game make anyone else nauseous, or is that just me? <laughs> it's just like with the whole world rotating around us the way it does, it's always just made me a little bit iffy. A little bit, yes, right? Especially whenever you start moving around a lot, and I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. Oh, god damn it. Well, we're not gonna get it now because we screwed up. You gotta collect all of the coins and all of the blue things. Oh, well. I've never unlocked Supersonic that I can remember outside of using like cheat codes and stuff. In my life. Kinda sad. Oh, the water put out our fire. That's just weird. Oh, that like bounces us down. Okay, I don't I don't really remember the power-ups that well. I'm assuming it's okay, yeah, it's just a shield, but Oh damn you dude. Oh yeah. Thanks for that, Tails. I didn't think of that honestly. <laughs> I forgot we could do the wind up. It's a little hot in my room. I turned the AC on before we got started. I should have turned it on a little bit lower. Or just had it so it's running constantly instead of... Eco mode or whatever it's called. Damn you, bouncy pad. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, oh, thank you. No, okay, we're fine. Everything is fine. Um, I don't know if it's in the budget for you, Rue, but something that Noodle really liked, and that honestly I did too, because it gave me some ideas for, for recipes and things to do in the long run, but... Son of a bitch. Anyways, uh, one of the meal kits, like uh, every plate is the one we got because it was nice and cheap. Um, but they come with recipes. And all the stuff that you need to make the recipes. And then since they just give you recipe cards, you can like keep the recipe cards even after you get rid of the, the service. And the meals that you like, you can just continue to cook those, right? So, like, there's this mushroom soup that, uh, that we got from every plate that ended up being really good. It's like a, uh, little bit of mustard for, and, and, I don't remember everything that goes in it now. I do, I hate this game. Uh, <laughs> it was like mustard, cream cheese, uh, all kinds of stuff in it. And, uh, thyme, thyme was a big one some other things too but point is like it's now a new uh it's now a new go-to recipe for noodle and i oh yeah that too noodle doesn't like red sauce generally speaking like uh you know pizza or pasta sauces and there was one that was uh relatively easy to make at home red sauce that they recipe that they gave us one time and now uh noodle regularly eats that Oh, good. Twitch died again. I don't... I'm going to have to change my server again or something, dude. Like, to, to the Toronto server or something. As per usual, I'll make sure it's not my internet connection, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Oh. Speed test. Welcome to the chat room. Thanks. Oh, nope, my internet is fine. It be la Twitch. There we go. Oh, nope, well, it was up for a second and then it disappeared again. Is it back? I think it's back. Hello, hello, welcome back, guys. <laughs> my God, dude. Twitch needs to figure out their server issues, man. I mean, we're probably streaming at a non-ideal time for, you know, North America, but like, still pretty annoying, dude. 
If we just keep running, are we safe? Like, Tails is getting the shit kicked out of him, but we're fine. You thought it was you? No, it's just the Twitch servers. Like, I had pretty good luck with the Canadian servers there for a while, but I switched back to Eastern United States one whenever those ones started giving us problems. And, uh... Why did I fall through the bridge there? Well, whatever. It seems like a good time to go to Sonic 2. Anyways, point is, once I went back to uh, the Eastern United States servers, it's been giving us this these dropouts every once in a while again. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. I can't remember. I was just singing that to Noodle the other day. The Canadian National Anthem. Now I can't remember it. Uh, nope. Can't think of it. Oh, well. Tis what it is, I suppose. Let's try out some Sonic 2, man. Just found a good video from Bobby Parrish. Still can't believe Food Network didn't sign him on. Do I know who Bobby Parrish is? I don't think I do off the top of my head. The name sounds vaguely familiar. Nope. Can't think of who he is. Oh well. Yeah, in the long run, man, just figure out your own cooking style. That'll do you a ton of good. That's where it's at. Look up his pick when you're done with this level. You should recognize him. I'll look it up. I'm sure I've, I'm sure I've seen him at some point, but... And like Noodle said, there's a ton of good YouTube channels, man. I'm partial to uh, Adam Ragusea, um, Binging with Babish, and Glenn and Friends Cooking. Those are probably, like, my favorite ones. Uh, there's also that TikTok dude. He tends to do more, like, baked goods than anything else. But, uh, Noodle might remember his name. I don't. But he also does YouTube now. So if you want, like, actual explanations on things and whatnot, you can watch his channel on YouTube. What was his name? He does, like, a lot of old recipes and whatnot. Like Glenn and Friends, actually. Bobby Parrish. He looks like Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> uh... <laughs> just like like an older skinnier ryan reynolds from a distance once i clicked on his pictures not so much but <laughs> like from a distance he had some ryan reynolds vibes going on which uh i don't know if i actually recognize him or not though outside of looking a tiny bit like ryan sorted alton brown has a channel you can't remember his name ah well yeah, Alton Brown does have a channel, but, uh, when he does, like, normal videos, I like it, but he tends to do on his YouTube channel more, like, at home with his wife stuff, which is, you know, fine. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do, but it's not really my style of content to watch for cooking stuff. I liked Alton Brown for Good Eats, the scientific explanation of stuff and all that, right? That's what, that's what I found fun about him and Good Eats. Oh god, we're so, so close to dying. Back when Food Network used to show who they were considering, he was one of them they chose not to for some reason. Weird. He ended up creating Flav City on YouTube as well. Think Food Network regrets that decision now? Probably, man. That's the problem with, like, a lot of big network stuff, right? Like, they just, they, they struggle to, to keep up with the times as far as what audiences are into in this day and age. I mean, people have been saying that forever, you know, that YouTube's slowly going to take over traditional media and whatnot. And at least for me, it has, man. Like, 100%. I, I don't watch TV barely at all anymore. 99% of my time is watching YouTube. E. Dylan Hollis. Yeah, that's his name. Dylan Hollis. He's uh, really good. Super, like, he's probably the most entertaining of the, the cooks that I watch. Him and uh, Binging with Babish would be second. Um, I don't think, 
recipe wise he's not my favorite again because he tends to do a lot of baking stuff and i don't tend to bake very much but he's definitely an entertaining cook to watch uh adam ragusea is probably the most informative <laughs> of the people that i watch binging with babish is just awesome highly suggest him and then glenn and friends is just like yeah i don't know he does old recipes and whatnot and he's also a big fan of just the do what you like, you know, take this recipe, add in maybe one of these hundred things if that's what you're into. Like, whatever, it's your food. Have fun with it. <laughs> you could use more cookbooks. I want to buy, like, the nerd cookbooks, right? Like, the, you know, they have, like, Fallout ones, Skyrim ones, um, d d ones, all of that stuff. I want to get some of those cookbooks. It's like I mentioned, I'm generally not a big recipe person. I'm more of a method person. So cookbooks don't usually really do it for me, outside of just getting ideas for new things to make. But uh, but the nerd ones interest me a lot because, in case you couldn't tell, <laughs> kind of into that sort of stuff. This isn't the one, is it? How do we look down? Oh, resume. Nah, I don't think this is the one I was thinking of, but... How do you... Do I have to, like, go off screen? Yeah, whatever. I remember there's one of those things you can go under, and there's, like, some boxes down there, but must not be that one. You got the... Uh, your uncle the Skyrim one. Nerdy Nummies? Yeah, I used to watch a lot of Rosanna Pacino. I don't really anymore. Um... I don't know, just over time, I found her less and less entertaining to watch. Uh, but she used to be one of my personal favorites. And she does have some, some just cool stuff. Plus, like, all of the little nerdy stuff that she makes is, you know, again, in case you couldn't tell, <laughs> bit of a nerd. Am into that sort of stuff. We could fit in there. Noodle is a recipe person. Noodle is a recipe person. And there, again, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't want to shame anyone for using a recipe. That's just not how I personally like to cook. Miss Pizza Papa? I've never seen Pizza Papa before. Which is weird because I fucking love pizza, man. I really want to get... I don't know if you guys have seen them before, but they have like a... Well, what are they called? Propane-powered pizza ovens. Um, And I really want to get one of those, man. <laughs> like... I think that would be amazing. Because it's just like a little outdoor pizza oven thing that heats up to, you know, like 800, de excuse me, 800 degrees or whatever. So it's not like the fully authentic pizza oven, but it's close. And like, yeah, I would love to get one of them to make some pizza in. That was Rose's dad. He passed away. I don't know if I've ever seen any videos with her dad in it, but that's sad either way. It's the one who made him believe Peach and Luigi should be together instead of Mario and Peach. I mean, I wouldn't say she's the one that made me believe that, but she did play Peach in that video, yes. In that music video. The song itself was by Nerd Alert, though. She was just a, a model for it or whatever. But that's how I found her, though. Not specifically that video, but just because she, like, used to hang out with a lot of the YouTubers that I used to watch and whatnot. Not so much anymore, but I, I you know, she blew up and the other ones kind of simmered, so is what it is. Anyways. <laughs> they made one for Pi Day? That's cool, dude. I never do anything for Pi Day. I'm not much of a holiday person in general. Like Mario Day, Pi Day, Christmas. I just... <laughs> I don't really celebrate. A mixture of, like, growing up just wasn't really a thing in my, my household. Why, like, sometimes do we jump real high off this? It's like the springs in Mario, dude. These things suck. Is it? I think it's, is it Tails? Is Tails hopping off of it, screwing up? I think it is. There we go. 
Bobby Parrish is 44, he looks 30. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed he was that old either, to be honest. Get wrecked, nerds. Damn it. <laughs> That's what I get. Fine. Get up on that, let's go. I hate chemical plants. Huh? I don't like water in Sonic. And Chemical Plant Zone has a lot of water. Not to mention that that instant death purple goo pit. I don't know what it's meant to be that we died in last time. Right here. Terrible. Terrible. Ooh. Gimme. Thank you. Uh, don't die? We good. Where is... Is it the next level? Nope. Oh, okay. Are we Gucci? I think we're good. Trying not to fall... Oh, God. Nope. It's rising water, not falling in the water. Go, game, go! Oh, my God. Oh, we're like right at the top. Let's go. Hopefully we don't fall in it now. Uh, okay. I remember there's like, yeah, sliding platforms here. Don't fall off the platforms. Everything will be okay. I'm waiting for like a shitty spring that's just going to knock us back at some point into the water. Ooh, that was scary. Oh! Oh! My heart, <laughs> my heart can't take it. All right, we made it. Boss fight. He has a basics playlist. There you go, dude. Ugh. Why is there an instant death pit on the boss? All right, well, you know what? It's 135. Let's try Sonic and Knuckles. <laughs> we played through the first world, part of the second world. I think that's good enough. Try the next game. Uh, I don't think it's probably worth trying any more of the Game Gear games. I can't imagine, like, they're that different. There's 3D Blast and Spin Ball, but those are for, what, the Sega CD, I think? Like, Sonic Drift, Sonic Chaos. I don't know. They're probably just, like, worse versions of the regular games, right? How to talk. I'm gonna turn down my AC real quick while this game's loading. BRB. I guess it's already loaded, but whatever. <laughs> BRB anyways. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Nate has been waiting <laughs> a long time for this. I hope he's not so busy that he won't be able to, uh, to join the stream here. Because he has been requesting this and wanting this for quite a while. And, uh, yeah, we're finally, we're finally doing it. Excited for me to try, yep, and uh, we're getting... It's weird, because like my AC has the eco mode, right? And during the eco mode, the fan turns on for a moment to like circulate the air and check the temperature. But like, I think it just doesn't turn on quite long enough to actually trigger that, hey, it's hot as balls in here. <laughs> you should probably kick on. Until it's a solid, like, 10 degrees higher than what it's set to. It's ridiculous. Now, thankfully, on normal mode, the actual AC isn't running 24-7. It just runs a fan after it gets below the temperature you have it set at. So it doesn't actually use that much more power. Um, but at least it keeps the temperature to whatever the hell you want it at. I wonder if you can... Because, like, if I remember correctly... You could take Sonic and Knuckles and put the, put like Sonic 1 or maybe 2, maybe both, I don't remember, in the top of it. And then you could play as Knuckles in the other games. Was that only, was that only Sonic 3 or could you do that with all of them? Anyways, I just, I wonder if that's a feature on, on here. Maybe that's some of like the unlockable games or something like that is Sonic to plus knuckles. Oh, I got a sneeze. It's too loud. I apologize. That was probably loud. I need hand sanitizer.
I mean, I'm in my own house. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Still would rather be clean, though. Sorry, I got... This is, this is a form of hand sanitizer. It's just, you know, very runny hand sanitizer. Just 91% isopropyl alcohol. That should clean right up. Perfect. It's just a little drying, that's all. You know what I think, honestly, the problem with Sonic 3 is? By extension, Sonic and Knuckles. They changed the art style too much. I just realized, like, how different this is than... than Sonic 1 and 2, right? Like, in Sonic 3 was the same way. It looks very different. Can we jump that high? Are we getting higher? I don't think we're getting any higher. Damn. Oh, well, it just goes to right here anyways. Couldn't remember how to use this thing for a moment. Just gotta pull the string. You bastard. I can't help but wonder, like, if Sega would have... I don't want to say kid-friendly, but had made their, their game a little bit more friendly to, to kids and to... People that aren't necessarily great at gaming and stuff like that, you know, just made them a little bit easier, a little bit simpler. I wonder if they would have done better than they ended up doing. What the hell? Not that they did poorly, obviously. They still did very well. But Sonic never quite got to the level of, like, Mario, of course. And I can't help but feel that a part of that was because Mario was a relatively simple platformer where I do have to agree with John on the idea that there is at least more complexity to Sonic, right? I don't think it's a complex game but there is more to it than Sonic which I'm sure is why some people like it better than they do Mario Is there nothing else to collect from in here? Where's the rest of the things? I see one. You bastard. Oh god. Oh god. We're we're going everywhere. Oh my god, dude. Just go around. I was gonna try to jump it again, like oh, no! Oh, well, we done fucked up. Whatever. It's fine. It's not like we're gonna be playing long enough to get supersonic anyways. We don't need all the chaos emeralds. Now, the real question is, where are we going? Can we go any deeper? We can. Let's go. We went backwards. <laughs> and again. I'm really good at this. Power up. Let's go. Oh, you dick. See, just enemy placement, dude. They're so rude. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Let's go. Wait, how do I... Do I just have to, like, slowly? I forget. Oh, you know what? We probably have to... Do that. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm surprised that thing didn't hurt us. It's like it followed us all the way over to here. That was Prime murdering us, Mushroom. And it didn't. Speaking of murdering us, Mushroom Dude, did I mention that Noodle and I went and saw the uh, Mario movie, Super Mario Brothers movie? It was really good. If you get a chance to watch it, I do suggest it. Oh, yeah, we did talk about it because we talked about the super annoying children. You want to rewatch it? Is it because of the children? Is that why you want to rewatch it? Without kids yet. Fair. Honestly, like. Are you coming down? Okay. Aw, oh, you bastard. That was just rude, my guy. Aw, oh, dude. We're gonna lose to the first boss. What? <laughs> How did that hit me? 
Okay, we won. Just barely, but we did it. We Gucci. Gotta bounce the thing around a little bit. Not enough for a power-up? Guess not. They're burping, singing, laughing, talking, making fart noises, kicking or bumping our seats, dropping or throwing things. Yeah, they were they were pretty terrible. More of the story is don't let your kids go to the theater alone. That's honestly. <laughs> it's all it really comes down to. Is this where... I feel like there's a cutscene that takes place there at some point. Probably could have went up there. Oh, oh, oh. Please. Aw, oh, you dick. Wow, why... Why have your level laid out like this? It's obviously laid out just to murder people. It's Sonic, man. I want to go fast. Ha. Try blowing me now, dick bird. That sounds weird. Don't blow me, dick bird. I'm sorry. Can I get a coin, please? I don't want to die. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Go. 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 What? There we go. can't believe it didn't throw me up high enough the first time. Good, we good. No! Having a whole enemy designed just to blow you back away from the direction you're meant to be going or trying to go, it's just a dick move. You still haven't made it to the shower? Is it just because you're being lazy or because you're too busy doing something else, like lunch or whatever? If it's the lazy part, I don't blame you, honestly. <laughs> I feel it in my soul. Especially, I haven't been feeling too good lately. I don't know if it's like food related or what, but like, I don't know, I've just been getting some nauseous spells the past couple of days. But I noticed like the past two days I worked, once I went to lunch, like I didn't feel as bad. So I'm thinking maybe it's just a food thing. But then, like, I was super nauseous last night, and for dinner last night, Noodle and I had steak and pierogies. Like, it was a very filling meal. So, like, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to be hungry, you know, after eating all that. So I don't know why I was nauseous last night, but whatever. I'm probably just pregnant. That's all. How do we climb your knuckles, idiot? Just climb. We can, like, do something with you, can't we? Yeah. She did. Noodle totally got me pregnant. That was a dick move, man. <laughs> Why have, like, a rude Goldberg-esque layout thing to your level there just to throw people into a death trap? true story she did tell me that and it is too dude her weenie is freaking massive like you honestly wouldn't believe how big of a dick she has it's insane it is why i love her after all as she said there's no reason to deny it you know I'm just trying not to die again to the same thing. So I feel like that's what's going to happen. I don't remember where it was at. We might already be past it. I think we're already past it, actually. Are we good? I think we're good. You bastard! <laughs> Speaking of bastards, like, what is the point of that blowy boy up there? Can't blow me now, can you, dick? The little mechanisms are neat in the game, but I do want to bring up just one more time. It's Sonic, man. Gotta go fast. Why are you making me go slow by raising this thing up? 
I know Tails is meant to be like the slower, more precise character of the two. You know, he's the he's the powerhouse, the buff boy, but like, come on, dude. Nobody plays Sonic for that. We're playing Sonic to go fast. Do I just smash? Smash. It's green again. Let's go. Oh, this is this is weird. Uh, jump? Okay. It's like precise jumps and shit. God, the game lagged there. I don't know if that was an emulation issue or just the game issue. But I did not appreciate the lag. We good though. Didn't even get hit, man. A plus. Save all the little animals. All the little critters. Look at them go, dude. They're so happy. It's weird that, like, Sonic and Tails and Knuckles exist when there's actual, like, normal forest critters running around, too. It's like the whole thing with, you know, Goofy's a dog, but then you have Pluto. So... <laughs> what dystopian BS made that, man? Or is Goofy a cow? I've always been a fan of the idea that Goofy's actually a cow. Of some sort. Yeah, that's that's what I was just saying. Literally, yeah. Like, I think Goofy is a cow, man. But either way, like, I'm sure if you look back through the, the cornucopia that is Disney history, I'm sure they probably got cows running around somewhere, man. Like, normal cows, not... Goofy and Pete cows. We dead? We're dead. Dum da dum dum dum. This reminds me of a level in Sonic Mania. I don't remember the name of it, but there was an airship level. I was not a fan. It was very confusing layout wise. Kill the mouse, and okay. Gotta go slow across the platforms. Going too fast will get us killed. And here. Are any of them gonna go down? No. Ooh. I wanted to go for it, but my better judgment stopped me. Uh, sure, go. Now we have the fire shield, right? Yeah, okay. I say it would make sense for us to be immune to fire since we have the fire shield, but I wasn't sure how it worked. Oh, this is nice, dude. Can I go back in it? Come on, man. Let me gamble, damn it. I want that jackpot, though. Gotta get more. No, I don't want just a normal win. I want the jackpot. Let's go. Did we get a Chaos Emerald for, <laughs> for for the jackpot? I'm assuming it's just like coins, maybe a power-up or something, but... Damn you. Don't go in the goal. No, reverse. Reverse! <laughs> no, there's goals everywhere! Damn. Oh well. We tried. Uh, no, we were going to the left, right? Wait, is this where they're manufacturing the cages that they're putting all the helpless animals in? I think this is the right way, right? Yeah. Zoom, zoom. Oh, you... You're a dick. How do we... Climb. Your knuckles, you just climb. Every time the question is how, the answer is climb. Although it does seem like we should have been able to... Oh, whatever. Could, like, zoom up that somehow. Because there were things on the ceiling there. Coins on the ceiling. Can we... Nope. No, we can't. We can stand on this. We probably can't stand on those, though. Can't... Oh, we can! That'll probably smash us. <laughs> no smash! Smash bad. Uh, presumably we had to ride them. 
and then up. Oh, okay. Try that again. Up. Scurred me, dude. Oh, that's not very nice, dude. You're not woodland critters or coins. You're just me. Oh, I don't want to be outside. You bastard. Oh, the... Okay, the top of it there hurts us too. That makes sense. I need the coins. Thank you. What? I was... Okay, well... I don't... I don't know what just happened there. I'm trying to go to the left. Okay, there we go. It worked that time. Uh, right again? Nope, that's just an extra... Wait, hold on. Climb. No, that's... <laughs> Climbing is not the answer this time. Surprisingly. It's hard to believe, I know. Okay, back to the left, and then right, and then we can't go to the left there, so maybe just left here? <gasps> nope. Bro, I don't know where we're going. Isn't he a dog? No, he's like, what's it called, like a Euclid or something? I don't remember what he technically is. Is Euclid even a thing? It's something. I must be missing something, man. There's got to be, like, somewhere else to go over here. Maybe we just have to jump over that slide. We just jump over the slide. Okay, there we go. That makes sense. Bastard. At least we got... Hold on, I could have climbed. Can I still climb? No. Lesage. All right, well, with that... <laughs> no, honestly, though, it is like 155, so it is time for us to wrap it up. That was fun, man. Sonic's never been my favorite series, but it is a series of decent games. The emulation doesn't seem perfect, but it's not bad, and I don't remember how much I paid for this, but it wasn't much. Like... It couldn't have been more than, like, $10 or something like that that I paid for it. And you get seven classic Sonic Genesis games, six additional Sonic Game Gear titles, plus uh, unlockable games and secrets. Like, it's not a bad deal, man. If you're into Sonic or never really gave Sonic a try, I would suggest. I would suggest. It's not bad. Shit, yeah, it's midnight here, right, dude? It is getting late. I gotta shower, maybe find some real food to eat instead of just potatoes at some point like do all the normal stuff make sure the game's still working fine and everything now that the battery's in like yeah yeah but uh anyways all right well tomorrow is morrowind i'm looking forward to that i hope you guys are too it should be fun uh i don't know if morrowind's ever gonna take off but i love the test the game so i'm gonna keep playing them wish me luck guys or you're gonna be hella tired tomorrow since you got a zoom meeting at 8 a.m kill me now well, if you go to bed right now, you'll get like seven hours of sleep. That's about how much I get on a normal night. And it might be okay. No. Good luck, Rue, and good night, everyone. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, y'all, and as always, be kind to each other. So, so uh, okay, we got our options menu. Is there anything we need to mess with in here? It, uh... There we are, okay. So we have audio, camera, control, gameplay. Gameplay, everything looks fine. Advanced, 